Hello everyone, God bless you guys in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Um, you know, as you guys can see, you know, um, I'm new to my YouTube channel, I mean, um, due to some technical problems, I couldn't go on Instagram live, but, um, you know, I'm here, you know, to tell you guys, to share you a message that the Lord has been putting for me in my heart, and the title of the message is, Does the Lord Know You? That's the question, my friends. Does the Lord Jesus Christ know you? Does he know you? Does he know who you are? Well. Well, my friends. Um, you know, like, uh, one of the, of the verses that the Lord been putting to me in my heart. Because, you know, there's like a lot of babes in Christ here in, um, on my Instagram, and on my Facebook, and on my YouTube. So, um, yeah. Yes, got here. Let me turn the lights on, you know, because, yeah, there you go. That's even better. I'm sorry. Let me close the curtain because I don't want you to see me, you know. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, yes. First of all, guys, yes. let me get a glass of water. Let me get a glass of water. So, if you guys can open up your Bibles to Matthew, chapter 7, verses um, verses 21 through 22, I mean 23, I'm sorry. In Matthew, chapter 7, verses 21, we see the Lord Jesus Christ is speaking in here, guys. He's speaking here, brothers and sisters and friends. He, it says, um, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, it says, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. And then I will prophesy unto you, I unto them. I never knew you. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I do not want to hear those words from, from the Lord Jesus Christ. Like... This is why many Christians, guys, many people in the churches are going to go to hell. You know, I don't care. I know many people are going to, like, unsubscribe my channel. Go ahead. But I'm speaking the truth. You know, do you know why the Lord Jesus Christ is going to tell people, I never knew you on the day of judgment? Because those people never trusted in Jesus. They trusted in themselves and trusted in their own works. Um, among the people who, are, who Jesus is going to tell... Uh, but this is the question: What is the will of the What is the will of God for our life? I used to think that doing the Lord's will is preaching. Well, my calling is preaching. It's street preaching, and um, the Bible said only those who do the will of the Father, which is in heaven. So, what is the will of the Father? Obeying His command. You know, like the Bible says, in you know, in John fourteen fifteen. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Exactly. We need to walk in obedience, my friends. You know, we, good works cannot save you, you know. Only faith in Jesus Christ alone could save you. In Ephesians 2, 8, verses, eight, chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. It, it comes in this man, it, we read in, these, in Ephesians, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. It's going to be a short message. It says... For by grace are ye saved through, through faith, and, and not that of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of your works, lest any man should boast. Like, we're not saved by our works. Like, you know, getting baptized in the water, it's a command from the Lord Jesus Christ. Why am I mentioning water baptism? Because many of you guys believe that if you guys are not water baptized, especially for you babes in Christ, you guys think you guys are going to get left behind in the rapture of the church? You, you guys think that you guys are going to stay in the great tribulation or that you guys are going to go to hell and burn? No, I'm going to talk about water baptism in a different teaching if the Lord wants me to. But I just want to clarify here. Don't listen to me. I'm just a servant of God. I'm not telling you, oh, don't go to church. Don't preach. Do what the Lord tells you to do. Do His will. But don't trust in your works. Because, uh, let's go to James chapter 1. In James chapter 1. Oof. 
it's gonna be good. I know a lot of lukewarm Christians are gonna get hurt. So are some legalistic people. You guys are gonna get hurt. But I don't care. But be ye doers of the word. And not hearers only. Deceiving yourselves. For if any man be a hearer of the word and not a doer. He is like a, unto a man beholding a natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself. And goeth his way. And straight away forgetteth what manner of man he was. But who should look into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not for not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. Oh yeah, I don't know why I move along, but like, you know, the Bible tells us we need to be doers of the work, guys. Like, if you're a true believer in Jesus Christ, of course, we do works because we are saved. But you know, the Bible says that you must be born again. Otherwise, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Like, you know, like, for example, on Thanksgiving, I went with my church. You know, I went with my, along with my congregation, a whole group. We went to evangelize. It was most of, one of the exciting things of my life, guys. 2019 was the best life for me, guys. I got baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I got baptized in the waters. And um, again, I might talk about water baptism. What is it? What is not? What is it? Who should baptize you? Etc. We're going to cover those topics only if the Father allows me. Like, the only reason the Lord been telling me I never knew. Like, He wants me to preach this thing. I never knew you. Now, I'm not teaching you guys. Well, I don't consider myself a teacher. You know, because I have little knowledge, like not too much. A lot of people say not too much, but maybe they're, they're saying it because I won't get offended, but that's fine. That's God's choice, you know, I'm nothing. I'm not no deacon, I'm not no prophet, I'm not no, no pastor, nothing. I'm just a child of God, that's it. I'm unworthy, an unworthy servant of Christ. So why do I say, and I know many of you guys um, who trust in your works are going to be like, but Brian, faith without works is dead. I'm going to get it in a minute. So we see here, we're not saved by our works. According to the according to the Apostle Paul, he told the, the church of Ephesians, we're not saved by works. Like my question to you, my friends, does the Lord know you? Are you living a double life? Are you the same person at church? But a, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you fornicate, you get drunk, you get high, you smoke the blunt, you hallelujah, you watch porno. Are you saved? That's my question to you, for you, my friend. Does the Lord know you? Do you know Him? Do you have a personal relationship with Him? That's my question. Test yourself for a minute, my friend. Test yourself. Test yourself, my friend. Because sadly, you know, among the people, because you know, oh, let's go to Matthew 7:13. Ooh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Okay. Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Verse 14. Enter ye in the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there that be that find it. So, verse 13. In the book of Matthew chapter 7. Because enter ye by the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way. Like, you know the, the street broad way. Many people, including certain Christians. Why are they going there? One, why are fake Christians, like the liberals, why are they going to go to hell? The, the straight way that leads, us, the broad way that leads to destruction is hell fire. Because they never trust in Jesus Christ. They never have a personal relationship with Jesus. They, hallelujah. They trust in their own works. They think that because you're a good person. But you know, if your church approves same-sex marriage, you need to get out of the church. That church is dead. There's no Holy Spirit in there, hallelujah. That, that, that church is dead. Like the Christians who, the Episcopalian church, I re, 
you know, they, everyone's welcome, you know. Are we all to love our neighbors by ourselves? I know many of you guys who are going to watch me right now. You guys are going to take uh, Matthew 22, verses 37 to 39 out of context. Yes, the Bible says, love thy neighbor as thyself. But it doesn't say love their sin as yourself. Okay, okay, like, you know, I could be eating with a homosexual. You know, we could have, like, Denny's. But uh, soon, but if he gets, like, too attracted to me or starts lusting after me, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a man, bro. I'm a man of God, hallelujah. I don't do all these things, hallelujah. Okay, why did I bring them up? Because, sadly, here in America, like, 78% of the, 70% of America claims to be Christians and unfortunately many uh, churches in America are dead many Christians don't like to evangelize they're very lazy they're very hypocritical they say they love Jesus they honor Jesus with their lips like Matthew 15 7 says but their hearts are far away from him yeah I don't know I mean I couldn't go live on this so I'm gonna make a second part or a third part I might so I'm going to download this right now. This is going to be the first one. I'm going to put it on my Instagram page. Let's see if my dumb Instagram lets me put this message. God bless you guys in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And um, I'll see you guys in 5 or 10 minutes.